Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So here's a deck profile I haven't really picked up in, in quite some time. It's actually the winner of the recent poll I made. So this today it's actually a deck profile on my Lost World dinosaurs. Just pure dinosaurs, no Shadals in this one. But anyway, I decided to go back to this deck and try out some different ratios. And especially because I'm excited for the new support that's coming out, like that Jewel Beast monster, which basically turbos the hell out of your uh, baby Sarasaurus. So you could actually run more of them now once that card comes out. Uh, eventually I may, uh, figure out, like, I might have to cut a few cards from here and there, but we'll figure it out as I go. I kind of want to keep, uh, experimenting on YGO Pro, but for now, this is the build I'm going with. It's still a really viable rogue option if anyone who wants to pick up dinosaurs, definitely give it a shot. Uh, Ultimate Conductor Tyranno by itself is already an insane boss monster, so this card can do so much damage, especially if it's linked under Pentastag, so, yeah, it, it's just nuts. So anyway, I figured I'd just show you guys what I got this time around. Alright, so the main deck still 40 cards. Uh, starting off with three copies of Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. You definitely want to see this as soon as you can. Uh, you either want to see it opening hand or search it off with Oviraptor. But depending on how the combo needs to be done, uh, will determine how it should go. But it's a really powerful card. It can attack all monsters. And if it's in defense mode, he sends them to the grave. So it's a good way to prevent flip effects from happening. Uh, next, we got the best card in the entire deck, three Oviraptor. It's your Searcher and your Foolish Burial. Uh, definitely an amazing card, and plus it combos so well with Lost World, where if you try to pop the token, you can use Lost World's effect to protect that token and special summon a, and pop a dinosaur from your deck, which in case you're going to aim for one of the babies, and you can special summon more uh, level 4 dinosaurs, that way you can go into some pretty awesome rank 4 plays. But it's also a monster reborn if you do decide to pop the token after all. So, again, depending on how you want to see the combo through, it's definitely how you should go about it. Uh, next, three miscellaneous source. I'm really glad that this card is back at three. Uh, the effect to where you can discard it to protect your dinosaurs from card effects is not a hard once per turn. Only its banishment effect from the graveyard is. So, But yeah, like most people try to call by the grave this. And like I said, if you have to have another one, you could just chain off of it and you'll still have the built-in protection of for your dinosaurs. So, yeah. Uh, next, three Panker Tops. Since this is a going second deck, I can go first though, there are ways I can go first, but generally I like to go second because I want to see what my opponent's playing, and Pancratops is usually really good against that, especially to deal with Floodgate, so Pancratops is just a really awesome way to go about it. Uh, next, I decided to bump up Baby Sarasaurus to two. Uh, again, like I'm kind of hyping for the new uh, Jewel Beast, so I'm going to have to see like how the ratio should go about it. But honestly, with the Jewel Beast, you might actually be able to make this a going first deck now. So again, we'll just have to wait and see how that card plays out. Uh, next, only one copy of Petit Tyranodon. This is just a turbo out Pancratops if I needed to. That way I have another one at the ready. I'm still running the one Jurek Aeolo. I'm running Chanbara, so that's literally the only sinker I'm running. It's just in case if I need to go for the OTK, Jurek Aeolo is just a good way to enable that. Uh, for my mer remaining one of Giant Rex, and of course Quatlis. Uh, Quatlis is still needed, even though you don't want to see it half the time. Uh, if you can manage to pull off its effect to where you can shuffle back five dinosaurs to special, I think that's still a really nice way to go about it. But generally, I just use it to search out my uh, double evolution pill. All right, for hand traps, I'm running, if I'm not mistaken, seven hand traps. Uh, three copies of Ash. You know, it's Ash. What else is there to say about it? Two Ghost Ogre. Uh, most people never see it coming, and it's really good against Pendulum, so you can pop that Servant of Endymion, so, just so you can prevent your opponent from going off. Uh, two Ghost Bill. I use this to dodge cards like uh, DD Crow and Called by the Grave. So, uh, Ghost Bill is starting to become a pretty viable hand trap on certain decks. So, definitely look into it. Give it a shot. And, you know, if you don't like a Ghost Bill, you can also try Effect Veiler or uh, you could just max out on your Ghost Ogres and try something else. You know, it's, it's really up to you. And that's it for my monsters. Now we're moving on to spells. Got to play three Fossil Dig, get your Rota for the deck. You know, definitely want to search out that Oviraptor, or if you already have it, just search out Miscellaneousaurus. That way you already have that protection too. Uh, Triple Lost World, it's an amazing field spell, especially like if your opponent has a token, he can only target tokens. And it's not just that one token. Any token he, uh, any token on the field, especially the Nibiru token, I didn't re realize that, can only be targeted. So, yeah, it's just a good way just to kind of like limit your opponent from, you know, really targeting anything. So, like, you never have to worry about cards like Compulsory, if you know, if they have a token on on the field but again it's just really good the fact that it weakens your opponent's monsters too except dinosaurs of course but if you're since your deck is primarily dinosaur never have to worry about it and again like also lost world is not a hard ones per turn it's abusable so you can actually like 
play another one, keep summoning out your tokens, and just like, yeah. And it's also really funny against Sky Strikers because they can't activate any of their spells. And if you're going up against like some form of Mystic Mind deck, uh, if you can keep spamming out those tokens, um, you can actually uh, get the edge you need. And usually what I like to do is uh, go into Top Logic Trisbana and just like banish all spells and traps. So really good against that kind of matchup too. Uh, next up, three called by the grave. I decided to bring it back to the main deck. I don't like hand traps, uh, you know, because this deck is susceptible to them, especially with double evolution pill. So I got to deal with them. So you don't want Ash to hit you at any given point. Uh, or even a ghost ogre, so because sometimes you can't, you won't always have that miscellaneous source to help you. So you always have to have a good backup. So I figure, you know what, call by the grave in the uh, main deck is not a bad choice. It's also really good in case your phone, your opponent decides to force you to go first. Uh, next, two pills. I don't feel the need to run three. Three is just too much. Uh, plus, this is a pure dino deck, so you're not gonna have too many targets for it. Uh, two twin twisters. Again, got to be ready for back row heavy decks. And Twin Twister is definitely the way to go about it. If you don't like that, you can also go uh, Cosmic Cycle instead. But personally, I like Twin Twisters a little bit more. Uh, one Terraforming and, of course, one Foolish Barrel. I'm not running Gold Sark this time, uh, only because I never see it half the time. And plus, uh, Giant Rex is very easy to dig out anyway. So you mostly either Foolish Barrel him or just search him out or even Special Summon it off with, off with one of the babies. So that's why I didn't feel the need to run Gold Sark anymore. Alright, for the extra deck... Uh, starting off with Boral Sword Dragons, just an OTK enabler. Top of Logic Tisbana, really good to burn your pun for damage. And the fact that he banishes all spells with traps on the field, that's just nuts. And it combos super good, super well with the uh, Giant Rex, so that's what I like about it. And Giant Rex will easily bring itself back anyway, so boom. Uh, I'm running the Nightmares, Unicorn, Cerberus, which also combos well with the, uh, with the Lost World. I always like to target those tokens with it and just to save it if I need to. Uh, Nightmare Phoenix from a back row. Pentastag to give your Tyranno piercing damage if you want to go that route. I'm running B Cop as just a generic link too. Uh, just because, you know, I needed to just, yeah, just get a free extender piece and that's all. And Link Rebo since I am running the Direct Eolo. It's just a good way to get it off the board if I need it to be gone. And, yeah. Alright, I'm running a bunch of rank 4s. I'm running Dolka, Solemn Strike. Uh, it's not once per turn, too, so it's a good way to stop cards like Nibiru or just any hand trap overall. Uh, Lagia, which is Solemn Judgment, so can't say anything about that. Abyss Dweller, you know, to lock out your opponent from graveyard effects. Gaga Gut Cowboy for time. Uh, I'm also running number 60, that's also really good. This card's just nuts, it has so many good effects, but you mainly want to use this effect on your Tyranno. Uh, just to double, just to skip the battle phase of the next turn and double at the attack points of one monster you control until the end of this turn. So, if you have that Pentastag already at the ready with Tyrone, yeah, you're just going to do a lot of severe damage to your opponent and it's just going to be hard to get around. Uh, one Dreadnought, uh, Rail Cannon Max, or Gustav Max, I'm sorry. Uh, also for time, you know, just make uh, two Tyrannos, overlay them, and then burn your opponent for 2,000. And, as I mentioned, the only synchro I'm running is Chinbara. I took out Nat Beast, uh, just became too slow at that point, and it just took up too many resources to make. I was considering running Trishula, but most of the time I got Ogred or Valored or even Impermanence with it, so I just took it off and didn't feel the need to use it anymore. But who knows, maybe it'll come back, especially with that uh, new Synchro monster that's coming out that's also for Dinosaur, so that'll be nice. Alright, for side deck, it's pretty standard. I'm actually running three Artifact Lancia. Uh, I just like to shotgun certain decks like Orcus, Thunder... Even heroes, uh, this car this card really hurts heroes like a lot. I also got Nibiru to deal with Salamangrates or any combo heavy strategy like Dragon Link. Uh, even Orcus is susceptible to this, but they do have some good recovery, so you just got to watch out for that. Uh, you also can deal with heroes as well, but keep in mind, as I mentioned, Nibiru doesn't entirely kill heroes, so you may get lucky. If they don't have a follow play, you might have won, but sometimes they might have a backup strategy that might throw you off. Uh, three mind control. Uh, if I'm up against a deck that just that just has like monsters that have built-in protection or negates, it's just a good way to bait them out. Or if you're lucky, you can actually take control of them and just link them off. Uh, next, three copies of Hate Trunade. I put this in Salamangrades. It's actually becoming a really cool uh, side option because you know it forces your opponent to respond to it, and if they can't respond, it's a good way just to take away all set spells and traps they might have. Like Super Poly, Compulsory, just send them all back to the hand, and boom. And it goes really well with Red Reboot, so like it forces the 
any uh, trap cards your opponent activates back face down. Of course, they could set another one, but if Hate True Nate is at the ready, you could just send it back and they're going to have to start all over again. So, yeah, uh, definitely really good. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, deck profile. And just stay tuned for the uh, combo video and catch you guys till then.